Ellis and Antonio McDice, Dikembe Mutombo, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf at one guard spot, and Brian Stiff at the other. And the Mavericks starting five stays the same. Mashburn, Jones, and Williams up front, Kidd and Jackson in the backcourt. In McNichols Arena. It was memorable for two reasons. A tremendous comeback by the Mavericks, 25 points down, and Jim Jackson rolled out of 50. And Dikembe is reminding him about that tonight. Don't come into Mount Matumbo. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He is I'll an, be waiting. Matumbo is an incessant talker. He never stops talking. By the way, he speaks five different languages. I bet he can talk a good game. Yeah, he plays a pretty good yeah, one. He too. does. And he's he's got a, a tremendous uh, personality. You know, he's a fun-loving kind of guy, and oh, he say, literally loves this NBA. Yeah, they say he's really funny. I mean, you by fun-loving guy, that, that's one. But this guy's funny, funny. He's a credit for creating the opportunity. He was able to draw the defense and dish to the rolling Popeye. Abdul Raouf makes that, that entry pass. Rolling Popeye. What is that? That's Brian Stith with the jump hook. Popeye Jones before the ball game and he was just sitting on a stool in front of his locker and believe me it was pretty obvious that he was very focused. Matumbo off the move hits the he hook on the move. Abdul Raouf trying to shake Jason Kidd hits the three. Three pointer with his first three tonight. He came into this game shoot intended for Mashburn. Inside Bryant Stith. Bryant Stith. Pretty much everything. The orange rim. What was that number I read uh, in their notes? Uh, he and Matumbo have accounted for 50 rebounds over the last how many games? Was it three? Like Don't know exactly, Rick, Jim. Rick That's 31 in a row this year for Abdul Raouf at the free throw line. Tops in the league in that department. Five points by Kidd, taken out by Stith, and now the ball loose, but Abdul Raouf controls and knocks down a little floater. That rebound that Stith got, maybe that is what will help cure the Mavericks' offensive percentage of 414. Now that's why I feel that if the Mavericks play better defense, they can get a win. He looked pretty comfortable doing that, didn't he? McDice? Antonio, Antonio McDice with his first two. Side, but that's McDice blocking the shot attempt by Williams and Denver on the break gets an Ellis dunk. I don't know how to tell you this, but Lorenzo Williams can explode. Abdul Raouf working on Kidd and a foul on Kidd. The basket is good. First foul on Jason Kidd. Three team fouls on the Mavericks. Raouf with the presence of mind to still, you know, control that shot and get it away. One shot. This will be, and we'll probably talk about this all night long, but that's 49 in a row going back to last year. Well, that perimeter shot. Scott Brooks has checked in to replace Kidd for the Mavericks. Underneath Ellis. Dale Ellis Dale working Ellis. the back door. He beat, Four points for him. Beat Matt Jackson, but recognition is so important in this league. They don't recognize, there, they got the switch back now. Ten to shoot. McDice on the turnaround over Lorenzo Antonio Williams. McDice. Brooks tracks down the loose ball, five to shoot. Abdul Raouf makes the steal on the cross court pass. Another Mavericks turnover. Dale Ellis with a wide Dale open Ellis. shot, and Dale Ellis has six. Well, I tell you what, you talk about a first period for Raouf. Ten points, seven assists, three rebounds, and two steals. Multiply that by four, my friend. Well, let's go with 40, <laughs> 28, 12, and eight. Not bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good math, huh? Seven and a half left to go. First quarter, Abdul Raouf against Brooks. 4-3. And the Nuggets with point seven left in the quarter will take an 11-point lead after with one, them Denver, to the bench. 31-20, Denver after one. Trip down the floor. Mavericks lead by three. Raouf will get the shot. I'd almost bet on it. I don't know that he'll give it up. 11 straight points for Dallas. Final seconds of the half. Abdul Raouf over Brooks for three, and he says, I got fouled on the play. 
Abdul Rauf on the drive all the way to the hoop. Out to Stith. And Bryant Stith gets Bryant Stith. with a two point lead. So the rebound. Jones being guarded by Rauf. Bryant Stith over Jackson. Bryant Stith. Stith opens the third with the first two field goals for Denver. Didn't hesitate at all. Jones with a perimeter shot. Good move by Rauf. And he gives Denver the four point lead. But he was going to the board that time. Everybody took a rest. You can't do that. You've got to get to that offensive glass. Mashburn with 28 points. The Mavericks have scored the last seven, and Abdul Rauf puts an end to that. That's good offense. Mavericks come across the lane with the ball. Mashburn's hands. Defense drops down to help out. Then you get the perimeter shot. Abdul Rauf strokes the three with two seconds left. The Mavericks a five point lead again. Rose guarded by Kidd. Abdul Rauf with Lucius Harris on him. Mahmoud knocks out the three. That's only his fifth of the game. He's amazing. I mean, his release is so quick you can't close the gap. Jalen Rose guarded by Kidd. Abdul Rauf being chased by Harris shoots the three and hits another one. What in the world? It's radar, isn't it? He's huh? got six three-point field goals. Very conscious of spacing on the floor. Don't get excited. Mahmoud Abdul Rauf with yet another it. three. How in the world? He hit it. That's seven in the game. Effort against the Chicago Bulls and Scottie Pippen the other night. Mashburn had the rebound that Pippen got and tied the game on. Abdul Rauf fires yet again, and that's a two. He's got 34. I don't believe it. It's one of the most unbelievable shows of outside shooting I've ever seen. He has target acquisition. <laughs> Didn't happen. Good sign. Ellis looks to Matumbo with five to shoot. Abdul Rauf, another three, and that's his eighth of the game. That equals an all-time opponent's record against the Mavericks. Dick Mata up along the sidelines. 106, 106, 353 left. McDice squares up and hits it. Antonio McTwo, now he just missed a free throw a moment ago on the technical foul. His first of the year after hitting 33 in a row. Kid reaches out right there, gets called for that foul. Abdul Rauf is dead center with this one. 38 points, a new career high. Look for Brad Davis and Kip Mata to take the timeout if he makes this, even if he doesn't make it. Timeout, Mavericks. It's a three point lead. Overall, 112 to 109 tonight. Denver riding the hot hand of our Gatorade player of the game, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. A career high 39 points, 8 for 11 from three point range, and he also handed out 10 assists to lead Denver to victory over the Mavericks tonight in front of a sellout crowd here in Reunion Arena, 17,502. That's going to do it on the home court for a while for the Mavericks as they hit the